What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for episode 21 of our Madden 22 PC mod franchise with the Vancouver Grizzlies in the wild world of pink slips. And we have made the playoffs here in year two of the Vancouver Grizzlies being a franchise. We won the AFC South, and we punched a ticket to host the 10-7 Cleveland Browns to try and get a damn win. Now, I, I can't even remember how I used to uh, do pink slips in the playoffs. I think I'd probably just do a game at a time. Usually we do two games an episode, but now that we're through the regular season, I feel like we should just, you know, focus one thing at a time and see how long we can do this playoff run until the wheels fall off. We have the Cleveland Browns this week. I mean, there's not much we can say. If you, if you wanted to look at, like, stat recaps and stuff like that, that's how we ended the last episode. Go take a peek there. I immediately just want to jump into the strategy, get an idea of what we are going up against here in the Cleveland Browns. Offensively, the Cleveland Browns, top 10 offense, 8th in total yards, 29th in pass yards. They're an offense that absolutely sells out to the run. They're the number one rushing offense. So gives us a pretty good idea of how we want to stop them. We want to stop the outside run or inside run. I like inside run. Even though it says outside, I find like more often than not, teams are beating me through the inside defensively not i mean they're a top five defense in points per game they are pretty bad at rush passing yards there 266 don't have a lot of sacks either 22nd in the league in sacks so for that they want us to do a blitz counter okay do a lot of zone blitz huh you know, anytime you want to take away Miles Garrett, who am I to say that's not the right game plan? I guess is that's what's fair to say. Let's get through a week of practice here. Hopefully everyone gets through it fairly healthy. We have no injuries. We got a brand new quarterback, Justin Herbert. Would love to have a full strength offense, and it looks good on the offense. Defensively, we are... Oh, no. Okay, depth safety, that's fine. We are full strength. Here to take on the Cleveland Browns. Now, I suppose there was some moving pieces in the last episode. So before we even hop in on the sticks, I do want to show you where our team is. Kind of looking at We got Wandale Robinson here. Keep spending points there. Gadget player out of Kentucky, formerly Nebraska, I think. We got Taylor Luan. You might go, we have Taylor Luan. That's exactly why I want to show you the players that we've acquired. Uh, we've lost a lot of faces along the way. We did not finish the end of the regular season with like a bunch of wins there were some wins and some losses mixed in there and uh we've had some roster turnover but we you know, for the most part we ended up with good players and not the elite players that we have we have taylor luan now uh, at tackle i don't know if i want him at left tackle or right tackle there we go we'll shift that out uh taylor luan there at right tackle we lost makai becton and we got taylor luan that's not that bad i mean you still look at that o-line Really, we're like a center away from having like a, you know, average to above average O-line. Two really good tackles, franchise caliber tackles, even though Taylor Luan's getting up there in age just a little bit. Uh, Calvin Benjamin, you know, 66 overall. We all know he plays like an 86 overall, so that's good. We have Claypool, Marvin Jones Jr., and we have rookies Garrett Wilson, who we just welcomed to the team. Explosive playmaker out of Ohio State. I've actually, we've yet to play with him. Six feet tall. What do we got here? 94 speed, 96 acceleration, 81 catching, 89 medium route running. Uh, he's going to be a dangerous playmaker for us, for sure. And then you throw in the fact we still got John Mechie down there. Uh, we got, we got. you know, I'm happy with our wide receiver room. And then Chuba Hubbard and the man under center, which we've only played one game, but it felt amazing. Justin Herbert, superstar X Factor with some of the best abilities known to man. We're working on escape artists. We're going to try to get there sooner than later. But until then, we have Gambler, which, you know, insert low-hanging fruit Calvin Ridley joke. Going to the defensive side of the ball. Jeff Simmons, Quinn and Williams, and Aiden Hudson. How do you how do you stop that? I don't know. Can't help you with it. Linebacking core, Kayvon Thibodeau, Jalen Phillips, pass rush, dynamic, elite. And on the inside, we have Singleton, plays better than his ratings. And Jabril, Co uh, Jabril Cox, who's been outstanding for us this year look at the stats 71 overall linebacker 116 tackles 17 fouls two sacks two picks he didn't do all that with us because we did acquire him uh like mid-season from dallas but he has been outstanding since he's come to our team uh williams and uh, javon holland at the safety so that's we're set forget corners a little bit of a weak spot we have christian fulton ben st juice and duke shelley 
Uh, this is more so like we've lost corners. Corners have been the prime position to get poked away from our team when we lose. We've had some good corners, Rocky Sin. We had Asante Samuel Jr. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're just, you know, it's not bad. It's not like, oh, my God, we're going to give an 800. You know, Christian Fulton's a solid prospect. Ben St. Juice is a solid prospect. We just need everyone else to kind of up their game a little bit to take some of that pressure off of our corners and at least behind them between Williams and Javon Holland. Two guys whose skill set definitely side towards coverage than, say, you know, traditional Sean Taylor light them up box safety run defenders. So that also kind of helps us out there just a little bit. So it is Browns week. I'm ready to get into this game. Very quick look at the Browns roster. Let's just see, you know, so let's look at the stats. I don't want to see the ratings because sometimes you're not as good as your rating. I want to see the stats. What do the stats say about this Browns team? Mayfield, you know, average. That run game is very good. They're averaging like a buck 60 on the ground, almost 2,000 yard rushers. Okay. Well, I'm glad we set our game plan to stop the run. No 1,000 yard receivers, but a couple guys there. James Washington, Javis Landry, DPJ had solid seasons. Defensively, JOK, very good. 126 tackles, two and a half sacks, three picks. 11 and a half sacks, Miles Garrett. We got Zach Carter from Florida. Clowney still doing the damn thing there. And, uh, you know, solid year. I mean, it's decent secondary, too, across the board. Newsome, Greedy Williams, Denzel Ward, like all star dev playmakers. It's a good matchup, but this is very winnable. I don't think I'm going to this one being like, you know, it's not like we're taking on the Chiefs. It's not like we're taking on the Cowboys or these teams that are just stupidly good in Madden. Browns are a winnable game, even though we're giving up six points overall. Very confident that we're going to get out there and do the damn thing. So let's go. First playoff game for Vancouver in the 2022 season. Let's start the run. There we go. Hey, you got a good run. You got a good run, huh? We got a good run defense. Oh, it's just getting, oh, it's Jalen Phillips. Unstoppable juggernaut. Best player in the NFL. He should be MVP. Ah, oh, make a miss. Come on, make a miss. Okay, we'll call slants here. Coach wants slants. We'll give him slants. Wilson, I like Wilson, man. So much speed in that slot spot. Boom! Garrett Wilson makes a miss up to the Browns 34. Methodical drive here for the Vancouver Grizzlies. Let's go, Kelvin. Get him. Just get the ball in his hands here. Look at that beast! First down. We'll go spacing just so I'm not running slants every play. I appreciate Coach calling it, but let's let's diversify it even just slightly here. Go, 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 Justin Herbert tucks it and runs. Opening score of the game goes to the Vancouver Grizzlies. All right, we got a third and eight. Jalen Phillips been hot. TFL sack already on the first drive. I just don't think they got anything for us. I just don't think they got anything for us. Throws it short of the sticks to Jarvis Landry. That is a punt. Oh, Marvin Jones Jr. Give me a replay of that. Quinn and Williams loving it on the sidelines. Oh, show me that. Re I, I was just like, oh, it's just getting complete. I wasn't like, oh, they picked that off or anything. I was like, ah, shit, that hit the turn. Look at this. Marvin weak, a perceived weak link of the wide receiver room gets up and gets the ball. Let's go. Oh my god. Chuba Hubbard. And he falls in. Let's go. That's such an overpowered route. We're not losing today. The Grizzlies came to play. Doug Peterson got these guys coached up. He knows what it takes to win a Super Bowl. Smart play. They're smart. They know our corners are a weak spot. Either work the corners or work our, our middle linebackers. <laughs> Jalen Phillips. What a beast. I don't think they know what to do. They're literally like, we've been able to run it on every team we faced this year. Grizzlies go, I don't thought they day. 
There we go. Get a big first big run, Kareem Hunt. Oh, there we go. There's Pink scoring right there. Third TF of the game for Jalen Phillips. All right, third and five. Dop a little bit of pressure here. Get Jalen Phillips, who's been unblockable. Oh, they go for the short pass to Hooper. That quick pass, we I don't know. Hopefully they don't catch on that we can't stop that. Let's go, Jabril Cox. Beautiful TFL. Look at Nick Chubb. Five rushes, minus five yards. Oh, Jalen <laughs> Let's go. Two sacks, three TFLs, and we're just into the second quarter. Jack Con Oh, my God. All right, let's play a little bit of man defense here. Watch the slants. Watch that middle of the field here, boys. They go for the run. Ultimate white flag play. Settle for three. As we start an extra, Justin Herbert will start with a run, but he is starting with his superstar. So that means we can get a little risque with the throws. Incompletion. I don't know if that takes another X factor. Nope, still in it. All right. Let's make this one count then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, who's that? Oh, yeah, Miles Garrett. Yeah, that's what Miles Garrett does. Game wrecker. Third and 10. Oh, wow. We had Y. Throw it away and get the long field goal attempt. We had Claypool. All right, 55 yards. How low? Oh, that's perfect. That should be money. It is good. We equalize what the Browns have been able to do in the first half. Oh, my God. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. We're going to halftime up big. Oh, he's off. Big, not a not a loud day for Drew Hubbard on the ground. You know, not a lot of volume. But that's his biggest run of the day. Maybe we get him more involved here in the second half. You know, that 100 rushing yard pink slip scoring, one of the easiest ones. You want to try to get every single week. All right, Miles Garrett. Seeing what Jalen Phillips is doing says I can match that. Coach wants run again on second and 14. Again, not the first or last time we'll dispute the house rule of calling what the coach wants. We'll go dagger here, try to move the ball down. Again, two runs. Two runs, and this is our only pass play on third and 13. Bail out the pocket like we always do. I want to go X so bad. Oh, Herbert takes it up. Let's go. Dual threat. Again, weird play calls. Third and six on the 22. We'll go with the one pass. Uh, okay. Ooh, almost like a natural pick route. Oh, short of the sticks. Made one guy miss. Oh, I like that we're going for it. Fourth. Let's go Chuba. I'm not giving it to Malik Irons. We're going to give it to a gas. I would almost rather Damian Pierce right now. We're running right at... Oh, let's go! Fourth and two. Coach wants to run it. Ed Shuba Hubbard says, bet. As the kids say, touchdown Grizzlies. All right, it's desperation mode here for the Browns. Fourth and 11 at about midfield. You already know who we're heating up here. Oh, Conklin actually has a good rep there, but he throws it into the mitts of Jabril Cox. Plays it safe, bats the ball down, turnover on downs.
A little bit short, don't matter. Claypool makes the play. Let's go play action here. You can force it in. We have Gambler still active. Oh, Marvin Jones catches it on the one yard line. I think we want to give this to Chuba. Do we? Does he have a rush? Yes, he does. Get this. That's second rushing touchdown. Some pink scoring untouched. This is an ass kicking. Garbage time. Whatever. Garbage time. Whatever. Oh, Marcus Williams. Pick six. I don't know how to pitch it, but I will take the interception. Take the interception, and there is the first playoff victory in the history of the Vancouver Grizzlies. 31-10, a shit-kicking over the Browns. Is it enough for a five-star? We'll add it up, and we'll see what kind of player we get to add that can help put our team over the edge on this playoff run. So take a look at the scoring. We won the game. We won by 21, so that is two stars right off the rip we also have the plus minus in the turnover department that is a half star scoring looking at our player stats nothing for justin herbert even though it was a great game two barber going over 100 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns one full star garrett wilson over 100 receiving yards a half star scoring for him Jalen Phillips, one of the most dominant defensive performances we've seen on the channel with over three tfls and over two sacks with four tfls and three sacks that's one full star there from Jalen phillips incredible game uh, the late interception from Marcus Williams is worth a half star. So add it all up. Ends up being a five and a half star performance. So a five star. We already have the plus 10 upgrade that we can get from the Browns. Throw in a spin of the wheel as well. All right, time to spin the wheel to figure out what we can get. In addition to a plus 10 and continuing our playoff run. I take whatever, honestly. I think Dev Increase probably helps us the least for this run. Oh, ho. We got the Monstars widget. If you don't know what this is, this means that on top of the plus 10 upgrade we get from the Browns, we can take one, and I, I'm already thinking, you got Miles Garrett, there's some pretty crazy players. We can take a like for like. So, for example, if we wanted Miles Garrett's 90 some strength, 97 strength, say, uh, it could go to Jalen Phillips. It could go to one of our pass rushers. Or we could do Baker Mayfield. We get one of Baker Mayfield's attributes, give it to Justin Herbert, so on and so forth. So we got plenty to look for. We'll break down the Browns roster, but we got the Monstars upgrade, the new upgrade to our Madden 22 pinks. That's a good one. That's a good one. So for the upgrade, not really much to vote on. I, I kind of like, this is this is the best case scenario to try to improve our squad. And even then we had to take the cheesy plus zero, but we will be flipping the plus zero. Taylor Luan, 85 star. He's 31 to the Browns for Jedrick Willis, who's 85 star and 24. So... You know, you get the plus seven fountain of youth on that upgrade there. And we'll slide Willis out to right tackle. Then we get the much improved area that we just... has to be a priority, I think, throughout this playoff run. Like, if we win, try to focus, try to get the upgrades at the corner room. So we're going to be sending Christian Fulton, 80 normal dev player, to bring in Greg Newsom. It's a plus four. He's 84 with a star dev. Uh, just obviously just a better player at this point in his career with the dev trait. And then here's going to be a like for like, even though not the same position. We're going to send the Canadian Michael Hecht, 68 normal. And we're going to get a plus three. So we're ending up only using plus seven out of our 10 upgrade, which is what it is. And we get Zach Carter, who's 71 star, but at 63, 290, he is a defensive end in our scheme. So it just adds us some nice rotational depth on our defense. But where you guys are going to come in is going to be on the spin the wheel. You guys are going to decide what player attribute we are going to steal from the Cleveland Browns. And I think I found the one that you guys are going to pick. But there's going to be plenty of options. And I will pin it in the comment section below. So those options are... So for upgrades, to make it simple, we are going to be talking about three of our players. Because we're talking about three positions on the Browns. So the three players that are open for an upgrade right now. One is at running back, Chuba Hubbard. We're gonna be looking at Nick Chubb on the other sideline. At wide receiver, I, I think you could really classify anyone, but I think for our team, we'll be focusing on Clay uh, Chase Claypool at wide receiver. And lastly, we're gonna talk about edge rusher. 
Really, I mean, that could be dealer's choice. We could apply something to Kayvon Thibodeau, but I'm probably saying after that performance, we look at Jalen Phillips and taking one of Miles Garrett's attributes. So if we can, those three players, Jalen Phillips, Chase Claypool, Chuba Hubbard, these are what we're kind of working with on the Browns right now. So as it, you know, you look at Nick Chubb, I think the ability is worth taking off of Nick Chubb right now. I mean, outstanding. One of the best running backs in the NFL. That 98 break tackle would be amazing. I think he's 94 trucking, absolutely. Could be something we look at. 97 stiff arm is pretty ridiculous. 94 ball carrier vision. Like all these things, especially break tackle, trucking, and stiff arm, those are kind of the weaknesses right now uh, to the game of Chuba Harbour. You look at Chuba Harbour, where can he get better? And I actually just, all right, like his break tackle is really low, his trucking is really low, and his stiff arm is really low. So those are three that I think we should highlight. I will be posting those in the comments for Chuba Hubbard in terms of upgrade. Um, moving to the wide receiver room. Well, this is pretty simple. Chase Claypool has 92 speed. Taking a look at the Browns, they have a track star on their team via Anthony Schwartz. So we could take the 98 speed for Anthony Schwartz, 98, and just apply that to our freaking six foot four. 240 pound wide receiver getting into the realm of ridiculous sure but that's the whole point of rolling this on the widget and the last upgrade is regarding the best player on the cleveland browns and that is miles garrett lots of abilities here that we could take and apply to jalen phillips 98 power move could be useful 95 tackling 95 no, 94 tackling, 95 block shed. We could look at 97 strength. We could look at 97 pursuit. All those, again, would be massive upgrades going to make Jalen Phillips the second coming of Miles Garrett here. Uh, in terms of, you know, what the lowest area of, of, you know, out of all those, where would the biggest boost come applying to Jalen Phillips? Well, the tackling would be a big boost. I think you could definitely look at the power move would be insane. Just make him completely well-rounded because the 91 finesse move is off the charts. The block shed would also be very much appreciative. Uh, not 83 strength going up to a 97 strength would be pretty dope as well. So again, went through a lot of numbers there to make it simplified. It will be all pinned in the comments. You guys vote on the Monsters. Whose talent will we be taking from the Cleveland Browns ahead of our matchup? Let's figure out who we're taking on the next round of the playoffs. Let's set this whole week up with our new players, our new squad, and see who we're taking on in the AFC Divisional Round. It will be the New England Patriots. Okay. We have a weekly award winner. I feel like I'll leave everything there. I'll leave everything for the next, because that's going to be an upgrade within itself and a breakout ahead. That's, that's nice. That's, that's some good additional goals, activities for the week. On top of it being a playoff game. But yeah, vote on what attribute will be taken. And I will be back probably sooner or later by the weekend, I'm sure, for another episode of Pink Slip. So thank you guys very much for watching. As always, the first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace.